Good morning guys, Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina with another beautiful morning view inside John's Pass. It is a gorgeous day, gorgeous start to the morning inside John's Pass. We got our Fox 13 show going on today if you want to join us for that. That's between 8.30 and 8.40 a.m. We'll be live on Fox 13 News doing a little fishing report with those guys from Good Day Tampa Bay. We also have our live stream show Sunday night if you want to join us for that. And we also have some fishing and weather to talk about this morning. Uh, we've definitely been doing well out there near shore and offshore. Inshore, the fishing is good as well. It's a great time to get out there and enjoy the water, guys. This weekend, it's going to be nice near shore. It's a little bumpy offshore. Unfortunately, we had some deep drop fishing trips scheduled this weekend that we had to postpone, uh, unfortunately. Uh, we have a little bit of a front moving into the Gulf of Mexico. There off the coast of Texas is a lot of rain, and that's making the middle Gulf a little bit chunkier than we would like unfortunately but near shore uh, for our five and ten hour trips and even our 39 hour trip on the big florida fishermen the weather looks great for that stuff uh but that deep drop fishing way out there unfortunately the weather's not optimal so we are looking at around two foot sea conditions near shore today probably closer to around three three and a half foot seas offshore and we have a super nice 39 hour trip going out this afternoon only around 30 people going on that next week we have a super light 39 hour trip on tuesday and then another one on friday so great opportunities to join us for those 39 hour fishing trips here at hubbard's marina or just come out and spend the day with us lots of great opportunities to get out there and do some fishing and catch plenty of fish uh, near shore we're seeing a few hog fish the bite's been a little slow for those hogs but we're seeing a few of them for sure the mackerel are starting to bite a little bit better for us which is great news we are seeing the occasional kingfish, but it's been a little bit tough. Offshore, we have lots of good uh, fishing going on right now. That 39-hour trip this past weekend had one of the most diverse catches we've seen in a long time. Uh, and this weekend, we're hoping to go out there and do it again. Uh, and we have super light loads, so it's a great opportunity to do some flatline fishing and do some tuna uh, vertical jigging and flatlining as well. So uh, we're starting to see the wahoo come back to the area the red group or the scam group or the trigger fish are all biting well and remember trigger fish close may 11th so this is our last weekend for those trigger fish for 2019 so we're looking forward to taking advantage of that this weekend and then also we have our live stream show sunday night if you want to join us and get a chance to win free fishing trips and then today between 8 30 and 8 40 a.m is when we're going to talk uh to fox 13 and good day tampa bay and do that good catch segment so join us uh today for the fox 13 news broadcast uh we'd love to have you watch that with us and uh hopefully you get a chance to come join us this weekend to do some fishing dolphin cruising island trips whatever you want to do on the water we have a trip to go get them and uh, obviously as you can see behind me we have beautiful views inside john's pass and uh, around the inshore waters we have been seeing a lot of good fishing inshore as well the tarpon are starting to come back we're starting to see the snook bite pick up quite well inside the pass and along the beaches uh, whether it's john's pass blinds pass uh, pass a grill pass clearwater pass those snook are definitely starting to show up in the passes and they're going to start getting more and more prolific and more and more aggressive as that summertime spawn approaches nighttime is when those snook are biting best but we do catch them during the day as well out along the beaches and uh, some guys have been catching some monster snook around the uh, pass and around the beaches check out our fishing report we send out our fishing report every Friday uh, around uh, mid morning and then we post it to our website around uh, mid afternoon and that fishing report has tons of photos this week 
and lots of helpful information. Our fishing reports have gotten very, very extensive since we started working with Fox 13. Yesterday, it took me almost six hours to put that fishing report together. So there's a ton of inshore, nearshore, and offshore fishing information. And that remember that uh, fishing report gets emailed out if you're on our email newsletter list every Friday around mid-morning and then we post it to the website under info and then fishing news every Friday around midday. So check out that fishing news report from us here at Hubbard's Marina. Check out the Fox 13 show today around 8.30, 8.40 a.m. Check out Sunday night's 8.30 p.m. live stream show. Don't forget about Bass Pro Shops uh, Saturday, May 18th. And remember, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too busy. So come join us inside John's Pass for some of these beautiful views, the great fishing, or another great time on the water doing one of our many other pleasure cruise island or dolphin or sunset cruises inside John's Pass. Guys, have a great day, and uh, we'll see you soon inside the pass.